friends. It is so good to see you. I hope that you're having an awesome summer. I hope that you're enjoying summer program if you are joining us for uh, math and ELA. And you know what, even if you're not, then how awesome that you get access to all of this awesome, awesome enrichment during our virtual summer programming with the partnership. My name is Mrs. Anderson. If you don't know me, I teach art at St. Charles Borromeo. Um, if you are one of our St. Charles friends, hi guys, I miss you a lot, a lot. If you are one of our friends from another school, hi, it's really nice to meet you. And I'm super excited to do a little bit of visual arts uh, practice and enrichment with you this summer. So. Each week, we're gonna have a different project. The project's gonna be split into two different videos. So we'll start the project on one day. Usually I think that's gonna be like on the Monday that the video will come out, and then we'll finish it together on probably the Wednesday is when the second part of the video will come out. So this week, we're going to be making monochromatic selfies, which means that we're going to be drawing portraits of ourselves. If you don't wanna draw a portrait of yourself, then you can draw a portrait of someone else. That's what we're gonna be drawing today, is we're gonna be focusing on the portraiture. So we're going to be talking about um, what the proportions of the face are and then how we're going to use all of the details of our face to draw it on a piece of paper so that we can get started. The monochromatic part, that's kind of a big word, monochromatic, that means that when we color these in, in the second video, they are going to be all one color and you're going to get to decide what color you want your monochromatic selfie to be. Okay, so let's get started and I'm super excited for you guys to follow along. A few tips before we get started. While you're following along, make sure that you're drawing nice and big and filling up your paper. Today you can use any kind of paper you have at home. If you just have regular printer paper, you can use that. If you have special art paper or a sketchbook, then you can use that. But make sure that you're drawing nice and big. No teeny tiny little portraits on our paper today. Also remember, drawing people is one of the hardest things you can draw. So the lesson might get a little tricky. That's totally fine. This might even be your first time drawing a self portrait. Don't worry about it. Just do your best, go nice and slow. The best part about this being a video is you can pause it and catch up whenever you want. All right, the last thing I want you to remember is that even though we're not gonna finish the project today and we're gonna finish it in the second video this week, we really wanna see how you guys are doing. So after we're done with the videos and the projects and you guys have done your your work at home, make sure you send it in to us because I have a really great vision of what all of these monochromatic selfies would be like when we put them all together. All right, to get started on our portraits, you just need a piece of paper. You can use any piece of paper you want um, for this project. I am gonna use a pencil, I have an eraser. If you want, you can grab a mirror so that way you can look at yourself in the mirror while you are drawing your self-portrait. But if you're drawing a portrait of someone other than yourself, that's fine too. And then I have this little resource sheet that's gonna show me step by step all the things that I need to do to get to a final portrait, okay? So this is all the stuff that I need to get started. So I'm gonna go through all the steps on my guide sheet here that show me the proportions of the face. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my head shape and then I'm gonna put in some guidelines and then I'm gonna start drawing my facial features, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my head shape with my pencil on my paper. Remember, our head is not totally round. It's kind of round on the top and then it kind of comes to a point on the bottom because the top of our head our cranium is nice and round, and then our jaw comes to a point on the bottom, and it kind of is gonna look like an upside down egg with your chin on the bottom. All right, once I have the head shape that I like, and I erase what I don't want, I'm gonna put in some of my guidelines. So there's the top of my head is here, the bottom of my head is here. I'm gonna go halfway in between those two, and I'm gonna draw a really, really light line because I'm gonna have to erase this line. I'm gonna draw a really, really light line. That's where my eyes are gonna go. And then I'm gonna draw a line that goes straight down the middle of my face. Again, really, really light because I'm going to erase it. And this is gonna show me the middle of my face, all right? So I can do both sides of my face because they're symmetric. Then I'm gonna come to my eye line and my bottom of my head and I'm gonna go halfway between those and I'm gonna draw another guideline. That's for where my nose is gonna be. 
And then I'm gonna split it in half one more time from where my nose line is to the bottom of my head. In the middle of that is around where my mouth is going to be. So now I have all my guidelines and I can start drawing my facial features. Okay, so to start with my eyes, I'm gonna start on my eye line. And our eyes are kind of two curvy lines, one line that goes up and one line that goes down. You know, I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger and erase the middle, right? Kind of like, like an almond shape or maybe like a football shape. That's kind of the shape of our eyes. So I'm gonna do one on each side of the middle of my face. One over here and one over here. All right, so that's kind of the shapes of my eyes. And I'm gonna just leave it like that for right now. And then I'm gonna draw my nose. A nose is kind of tricky to draw because our nose, actually what we see is it coming out in front of us. So I'm gonna start with a curvy line on the bottom that's gonna go right to my nose line. And I'm gonna kind of draw my nose as if it comes up, goes past my eyes, and this is where my eyebrows are gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that on both sides, have my nose come up between my eyes. It's a little bit skinnier here than it is here. And I'm gonna draw in my eyebrow on this side. I'm gonna have to fix those a little bit, but that's okay for now. And then if I want to put kind of like my nostril on each side of my nose, that's just how I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna add more to it, but that's how I'm gonna start it for right now. And then for my mouth, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a line where the middle of my mouth is because we have a top lip and a bottom lip. So I'm gonna put a line in the middle, that's where the middle of my mouth is gonna be. And then I'm gonna draw a, like a hill that comes down on this side and another one that goes the other way on this side. So that's gonna be kind of like the top of my mouth. Gonna finish that middle line across. Maybe I wanna make myself smiling. So I'm gonna make it a curvy line up. And then the bottom lip is gonna be another curvy line right underneath of it. So that's just how I'm going to start. So now you can kind of see my face a little bit better, right? I have my eyes, eyebrows, my nose, and my mouth. Let's see, I'm gonna actually add in ears too. So my ears are gonna go in between these two guidelines, my eye line and my nose line. I'm gonna draw an ear in between and on this side an ear in between. Okay, now I'm gonna stop because I have a lot of my facial features and I'm gonna go back and kind of adjust some, some of them. Okay, so what I did when I had to go back and adjust was I actually used my mirror and I looked in my mirror to see, okay, what shape do my eyes actually need to be after I got started? Where is my nose gonna fall in between of my eyes? Right, how did I need to fix my eyebrows? I needed to look in the mirror to see all of these things. Then when I got down to my mouth, I realized I needed to make that kind of bigger. So I drew another mouth around the outside of what I had drawn and erased the middle. And then it actually even needed to go back and fix a little bit of my face shape I could see from looking in my mirror. So I had to go back and make all of those adjustments. So now I'm gonna start with my eyes. Now we're gonna put in all the details of our face. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you can use your mirror again, and you're gonna think about all the pieces of your eye that you need to draw in. So you have an eyelid, you have eyelashes, you have the middle of your eye, right, called the iris and the pupil, okay? Maybe you need to go back up here and make your eyebrows a little bigger after you do all of that. So that's what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put in all the details of my eye. All right, so I put in the details for my eyes, and now I'm gonna do the same thing for my nose and my mouth. I'm just gonna keep looking in the mirror and look at all the pieces that maybe I still need to fix, maybe some details that I need to add, maybe some shading that I could put in with my pencil, and then I'm gonna go over to my ears and do kind of the same thing. So you might be working on this and be thinking, but my portrait still kind of looks like 
an alien head. That's because right now we still have a floating head and we haven't done any kind of hair or put a neck on our portrait. So don't worry about what it's looking like right now because even as you're getting close to finishing, we're not quite done, all right? So just focus on one feature at a time. Okay, so our next part that we're gonna add on now that we have all of these details drawn into our face is we are going to draw our neck and our hair. So the first thing we're gonna draw, our neck kinda comes out from like the middle of our jaw. So I'm just gonna draw these lines that kinda go straight down. And if you have a lot of space on the bottom of your paper, then you can kinda draw like a curvy line, maybe where like your shirt might kind of touch your neck and then have your shoulders come down from there. This is something I might need to go back and fix. Maybe my neck is a little too long, but I'll go back and fix it. Okay, and then what we're gonna draw is our hair. This is going to make our head look not so crazy and egg or alien shaped. All right, so if you look at our guide sheet, we can see our hair sits kind of like on top of our head, right? And a lot of our hair, whether you're a girl or a boy, is going to cover up a big part of this forehead. So what I'm gonna do is because my hair sits on top of my head and it kind of parts in the middle and not quite in the middle, it's straight. I'm gonna just draw some shapes and some lines. I'm not gonna dry and try and draw a million strands of hair because I will be here all day long. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda draw some shapes, some across the, my forehead, some kind of going on top of my head as to where I think my hair should be. All right, so if my hair is kind of tucked into the back of my ears, then my hair is gonna come around like this. Right on both sides, it's gonna come around in front of my, or on the side of my head, right? Kind of like going behind my shoulders. Let's see, I might need to fix this front part a little bit. So now that I have my basic shapes, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fix some of these shapes for my hair and for my neck. All right, so now I'm basically done with my drawing. All I really have to do now is keep adjusting and erasing some of the lines I don't want, right? So I started doing that when I was draw, uh, drawing and fixing my hair, right? I erase these top lines for my head that I don't really wanna see anymore. I can go in and I can erase my guidelines because I don't really need those anymore either. So my drawing is pretty much done. If you still have some things that you wanna add to your portrait, then go ahead and keep adding your to your portrait. You can put in as many details as you want to make it look like you. Maybe you want your shirt to say something. Maybe you wanna draw some earrings on yourself. Maybe you have hair that looks a little bit different, right? So if you have boy hair, then your hair is gonna kind of come across your forehead, right? That's where your hairline comes across your forehead. And then it will be shorter, so it will only go to behind your ears and it's not gonna come down long the way my hair does. Maybe your hair is in braids. If your hair is in braids, then it's still hard to draw all of your braids, right? That's gonna be a lot of drawing and details. And so what I would do is I would kind of draw braids by making these crisscross lines that would go across these shapes that I drew for my hair, okay? So I would just keep adding those crisscross lines throughout the shapes that I drew instead of trying to draw every little braid because that's gonna take a really long time. Maybe your hair is up in a bun or in a ponytail on your head, in which case maybe it's gonna go off the page, right? Because if your hair is in a bun, you're still gonna have your hairline be in front of your forehead, but your bun will probably come up, right? Maybe even go off the page like that because it's sitting on top of your head. So you can make whatever kind of adjustments that you want at this point to make your portrait either look like yourself, and I encourage you to use a mirror if you're doing that, or to make it more look like the person that you are drawing. So I'm gonna go through and just put a few more adjustments into my portrait before I am done for the day and I have drawn my whole thing on my piece of paper. 
All right, so this is my finished self portrait for today. In our next video, we're gonna go over how we're going to color these in. Okay, so for our next video, you're gonna need some crayons, some markers, some colored pencils. If you wanna grab a Sharpie to kind of go over some dark lines, you can, but I'm gonna show you how we are going to make these monochromatic self portraits in the next video. But congratulations, the hard part is over and you have your own self portrait. Great job, you guys, and I'll see you next time.